Over in the UK, Queen Elizabeth II, who ruled for seven decades, passed away on Thursday. This comes after doctors expressed concerns about her health and advice remaining under medical supervision. Leaders from around the world are paying tribute to the late sovereign. Shin Ayong starts us off. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest ruling British monarch who ruled for seven decades, passed away on Thursday. She was 96. We are all devastated by the news that we have just heard from Balmoral. The death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and to the world. Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built. According to Buckingham Palace, the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral Castle in Scotland on Thursday afternoon. Ahead of the announcement, doctors were concerned about the health of the Queen and recommended she remain under medical supervision. Country heads from around the world have expressed condolences over the death of the Queen. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol delivered a message of condolence on social media saying her kind heart and good deeds will remain in our memories. He added that the Queen showed exemplary leadership throughout the period which united the country. U.S. President Joe Biden said the Queen was more than a monarch who defined an era. The U.S. decided the White House and federal buildings would hoist American flags as a mark of respect. Meanwhile, in Paris, the lights of the Eiffel Tower were turned off to pay tribute. Elizabeth ascended to the throne in 1952 after the passing of her father, King George VI. During her reign, she ruled over about 50 Commonwealth nations and remained a symbol of stability for over 70 years. She helped lead the country through crucial moments like the Second World War, the Cold War and Brexit. Meanwhile, her eldest son Charles automatically became King Charles III and the head of the state of 14 other realms including Australia, Canada and New Zealand. Shin Arirang News.